For whatever reasons, many of our young people do not do well in high school and later in life find themselves at a disadvantage when it's time to enter the job market. The National Training Agency is trying to fill the gap and provide opportunities for young people who fall into that category. Jorino Saunders tells us more about the latest group of youngsters to benefit from the pre-certification program. Wednesday, it was a big day for more than 100 young Bahamians who became the first group to complete the pre-apprenticeship training in numeracy and literacy for the National Training Agency, the NTA. The training was conducted online during the early stages of the COVID-19 pandemic. The certifications are by world-renowned city and guild and are accepted internationally. Gadville McDonald, executive director of the NTA, says the government continues to be invested and committed to the youth of the nation, and the NTA continues to fulfill its mandate, assisting young people who did not finish or perform well in high school. Today, some 130 students will be obtaining their city and guild certification and numeracy, and some 96 students will be obtaining their city and guild certification in literacy. You ought to give yourself a round of applause. This is a big deal. We told you that the National Training Agency is committed to you. The government of the Bahamas is committed to you. We will continue to invest in you because we believe that as we invest in you, that we are investing in the overall development of our country. Mr. McDonald says that the NTA is committed to helping produce a more productive and globally competitive workforce. Following COVID-19 protocols, the students were called in at different times during the day. Among those in the first group presentation was Kendi's Bastian, a former student at Anatole Rogers. Ms. Bastian shares her experience with the Math and English Pre-Apprenticeship Certification and tells us what it means to her after struggling through high school. It was fun actually getting to meet new people and meeting people that are interested in helping us to go somewhere in life and that makes us like make learning fun for us so we wanted to come here every day just to learn something new and it's really something good yeah i am looking forward to do better things but right now i am doing something that i never thought i could do before i do graphics designing media and photography Many of the graduates' parents were present at the ceremony giving their support. Ms. Bastian's mother, Charlene Sands, says she's proud and thankful to God for the opportunity the NTA has provided to help her daughter get back on the right track. Yes, it is a problem. And at first I thought she wasn't going to graduate um, because her grades were very low in school. And to see that somebody actually found a way out for her, that she's able to achieve something in life that can, you know, build her self-esteem. Like she said earlier, she's now doing graphic design, she's in media and photography, and she does that very well, like literally like a pro. And I'm sure it's because of the help of the NTA program, the pre, um, apprenticeship program here, that helped her and to build her self-esteem, even to help her with her goals in life as to what she want to do in life. Mr. McDonald says the NTA will continue to make adjustments and improvements to the program so that they and their partners are able to continue to produce phenomenal results in preparing young Bahamians to function effectively in society and gain meaningful employment. Jerino Saunders, JCN News. You're watching JCN News. Stay with us.